Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and in today's video, we are going to be doing, or at least attempting to make, a cute little bright eye summer moments look using this NYX Ultimate Edit Palette. If you're interested in seeing me attempt makeup from a non-beauty guru, then stick around. Before we get into today's video, I would ask that you would subscribe so you can keep up with your favorite girl on the internet. Give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. Now, let's get into today's video. Your girl's not like amazing at makeup, I'm just gonna say that right now, but I wanted to try some, you know, makeup. So I bought some because I want to get better at makeup. I want to do some like fun, cool looks. I'm always interested in seeing like what people do with their makeup. So I'm going to attempt and hopefully I succeed if the light goes in and out. I'm using natural light. So we're working with what we got. Okay. But anyways, I'm going to start off with my brows. I am going to use my Fenty brow pencil and I'm just going to, I'll bring you in a little bit. I'm just going to like do a nice little line underneath so I can have that definition. I'm just sketching out the shape of my brow. All right. I'm just gonna fill it in in the front a little bit. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel just to set that all in place. The Fenty Brow MVP is in black brown and then I'm using Ebony in the mini Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. I'm going to go in with my Milk Makeup Foundation in the sh whoa in the shade tan gonna clean up underneath my brows and above as well just using a flat brush to go underneath that and around and I didn't really prime my face with like an actual primer. I just used moisturizer and let that kind of dry down a bit and use that as my primer. Cause we all know I ain't going out. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't seen nobody. So it's not like this makeup needs to last me all day. I'm just going to be home, you know? I feel like that's as even as I'm going to get. They're, they're sisters, you know? That's, <laughs> that's all that matters. <laughs> ah! Okay. Now I'm going to go in with the Butterscotch. Uh, no, not Butterscotch. The Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Butterscotch on my lids. Honestly, I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. I'm going to use the concealer as a primer. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to just like play with these four shades. So we have like this yellow, orange, pink, and purple. So I'm going to leave out the blue and the green. I am going to go in with the yellow. I'm going to really really dig into that color. Get my little mirror again because I need to see my eyes. And 
just going to pat that into my crease. I feel like that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna go in with that like corally shade next to it and I'm gonna pick up quite a bit. I'm gonna just start adding that onto the lid. So the color that I'm dipping into, I was dipping into this yellow one and now I'm in this like corally pinky color. Well, that's coral. It's a nice coral color. So that's gonna go a little bit into the, well, not a little bit, a lot of bit into the inner corner of the eye with that coral. Accidentally stamped under my brow, but that's okay. All right, so now that I have that over the entire lid. So the, the yellow was like on the crease and then orange all over the lid going to the inner corner. Now I'm gonna go in with this like pinky color here in the middle next to the purple with that same brush. I'm just gonna go into the center of the eye. Ooh. Alrighty. And now I'm gonna go in with that purple. I'm going underneath the eye. And then I'm gonna go back in with the yellow. I have the yellow on this side and then that like coral pinky color on the other side. Ooh. Gotta stretch out my legs. Oh my gosh, sitting on the floor. I'm, I'm not as young as I used to be. I'm now gonna go in with pink on the outer corner, just a little bit. I feel like it's making it like this nice deep color without getting too dark. Hmm. I think that's all I'm gonna do. Or maybe, I'm wondering if I should put purple in the crease in like the outer corner. Yeah, I like that. Cute, all right. Just going in back with that yellow. So I just wanna lighten this inner corner up a little bit. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's like a nice sherbet look. Ooh, I love that. Now I'm gonna go in with my NYX Faux White Vanilla Eyeliner. I bought some falsies and I cut them so I only have the outer corner, and I'm gonna be real right now. I am not good at putting on falsies. It is not my gift in life. But I figure if I just do the outer corner, it could look really cute. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but it's gonna be something. It's gonna be something. I kind of wanna do my liner first. I'm just gonna do like a small liner. I'm going in with the Kat Von D tattoo liner. This used to be my favorite, but I feel like it's just dried out a lot quicker, which is very, annoying. I thought 
thought I lost one of my lashes. I was like, oh girl. So I just need a, it's hard to do. This liner just doesn't want to I'm just going with my pixie one. I just got this the other day, so we'll see how this turns out because I'm honestly, honestly don't know about this. We're gonna try. It's like these liners are just like, we don't want to work for you. Like, come on. That's, that's the best that I'm going to do, guys. That was, that was rough. I got the Ardell Professional Wispy lashes. Can you see? And I just cut off the front portion and just left on the winged part because that's truly all I care about. And I got the Velour Lash Glue, the original one, so it dries clear. But we're gonna see, <laughs> we're gonna see how this goes. I'm not good at this, so we'll see. I did it. Honestly, it feels a little weird. <laughs> but I did it. That's the best I can ask for. Say practice makes perfect. So I just have to keep practicing. Putting on lashes. I feel like outer corner lashes is going to be the thing for me. Guys, I just put on lashes successfully. All right, let's get into the mascara. I'm using the NYX On The Rise Volume Mascara. I mean, does it look amazing? Or does it look amazing? <laughs> It probably doesn't. Someone's gonna be out there being like, this girl has no idea what she's talking about. You know what, that's fine. To each their own, but this is my first time having lashes that work. I mean, from a distance, it, it doesn't look bad. That's not bad for like, as far as lashes goes. I feel like that's not bad. I mean, honestly, if you don't think it looks great, don't, don't say anything. <laughs> Cause I feel pretty good about these lashes. I'm just gonna leave the eyes alone. And now I'm gonna go in with some concealer. I'm using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish in Deep Olive as like my under eye highlighting and then I'm gonna use deep cinnamon as like my bronzing because it's kind of close well it's a lot darker actually looking at them together like this one's a little bit more pinky and this one's more orange but it kind of works so I'm just gonna go underneath my eyes in my highlight area. That is so pretty. And now I'm gonna go in with 
deep cinnamon there. And that's my face. All right, where is my sponge? I need a, well, I don't need to wet it. It's pretty good enough. It's pretty damp still. All right, blendy blend blend. Now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty, it's the mini one, powder in cashew. I'm just gonna stamp a light layer on my face just to mattify everything. I'm not going in with heavy cause I just want it to like melt into my skin. I feel like I have a little bit more pinky purple under this eye and I like that. I need to match it to the other eye. Yeah, that looks good. Getting it done. Now we can get more into the face. I'm going in with my dual finish Lancome Versatile Powder in shade 550 Suede C. It's like my contour color. It's like a nice amount of definition. Now I'm gonna go in with my MAC Mineralized Blush in the shade Lovejoy, and I'm just going to pat that on. I like quite a bit of blush. I just think it like gives you that nice like doll look. I prefer patting on blush because I feel like it sinks into the skin a lot better. Now that the blush is on, I'm gonna go in with my highlighter, and I find my brush. It is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Topaz. This is turning out pretty good, I would say. I'm, I'm really liking this. Now I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF3. Gonna line my lips, bring you guys in a little bit closer for that. But that shade is very similar to Cork, apparently. I've never owned Cork, I've only had Chestnut. And I'm gonna go in a little bit of Chestnut here and just define the Cupid's bow and the underneath, just a little bit. And I'm gonna go in with NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. Chestnut, Cork, and London with some clear gloss or Fenty gloss, which I'm gonna put on is the best nude. Look at that lip. Just beautiful. Ooh. Guys, I think, I think I did something here. I think I snapped. This is like glam. This is, ooh, ooh, this is glam. Oh my gosh, I live. Look at that, wow. If she said she's feeling herself, she's feeling herself. I don't know if I taught anything specifically besides just going over my makeup with you guys, but I think I did something. On this lip, yo. This nude lip, sorry about the lighting, but man. Okay, well that's the end of, uh, that's the end of the video. I'm like, I'm so sorry, I keep looking into the viewfinder, which is to the right of me, so if that annoys you, I apologize. I'm so sorry about that. But yeah, I really, really like this look. I feel like I would wear this out. This is also like very colorful, it's very fun. You know, I tried some things. I'm I'm not gonna sit here and be like, she's a beauty guru, she knows everything, because I don't. <laughs> I'm still learning, like, 
It's the first time I put on falsies, which you guys saw like successfully. All the other times I've tried putting on falsies, I didn't have glue. Well, I just put too much glue and I would like, they would get stuck on like the upper part of my eyes, my eyelid. And I was just like, I'm not gonna do this. And finally, I feel like an, you know, just a corner, like cutting off like the main bit and just having like the outer corner lashes is key for me because this, guys, this looks really good. And then also for the fact that majority of this stuff was drugstore, I mean like this NYX Ultimate Edit. I mean, you really have to go in with these, but once you kind of get it, it does well. And then also with the e.l.f. like concealers as my foundation, I'm typically shade tan in the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid Foundation is, and it's matte. It's, it's my found, it's like, that's my color pretty well, but this matched me pretty well, as you can see, like it's not super off. The deep cinnamon, the deep olive, the center of my face, and then the uh, cinnamon on the outer parts of my face worked really well. It's like, it's a tad bit darker and a tad bit orange for the deep olive, but it worked. And the deep cinnamon was like a little bit darker so it could add like some warmth to my face. But I like that this is like a mix of drugstore along with like high-end um, products, but relatively pretty affordable. A lot of the brushes that I use are Real Techniques. They are some of the best. I'm gonna go in with my Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. Have that dry down. But I'm glad that I went for the more hydrating e.l.f. concealer as like the foundation. It is full coverage, like it it covered everything. And I've had some full coverage con foundations, like high end, and this is full coverage, girl. Like, this is no joke. But I love the satin finish, so I think that's something I'm gonna try to go for in the future, is to do more hydrating bases, and then I can go in with like my powders and setting spray that's more for the matte side because that was that was clutch i know this was kind of like chaotic it was a little bit all over the place but thank you so much for sticking around to kind of to see how this went down how i accomplished this look it was pretty simple it wasn't like anything hard it was more so you just had to like pat this onto the skin to get a lot of pigment I'm definitely gonna like try to do more makeup looks cause this was very, very exciting. I think the next one that I will do will be with these colors on the side. I think like the green, the blue, and the purple here. The green, blue, and purple might be good, even with the pink. I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you wanna see that video and I will get that filmed for you guys and do that. But if you liked my first attempt at doing some makeup and like trying to do like a tutorial, leave your girl a comment down below. And yeah, I think this was a great success and I'm excited to do more videos like this, like, Girl, she's feeling herself in with this wig. Come on, come on. She's she's really feeling herself. I think I'm also really gassed with the lip combo because that, this lip combo, this nude lip combo though, snapped, totally snapped. So yeah, anyways. I'm rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video and you want me to continue making makeup videos. I mean, if you thumbs down, I'm still gonna make it anyway because I really enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun for me. It was a lot of fun for me. If you haven't already, please do subscribe so you can continue to hang out with your favorite girl on the internet. 
me. Leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this makeup look right here. If you thought I did a good job, if you have some negative stuff to say, don't say it. Just some positivity here. I would love some positive vibes and some positive feedback from you guys. But yeah, don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Man, this came out so good. I am like gassed. Whoa. Look at that. This like lip, this lip though. Oh my gosh. I like, this is a perfect nude. I can't get over it. And like the foundation too. Wow, the eyes came out, they snapped. This was, look at the, girl. Yes, I'm obsessed. Fully, fully obsessed. Like, <laughs> I'm beautiful. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Cause she did what? She popped off. Thank you.